Today on Eat Live Love San Fernando Valley, we're gonna mix it up a bit. Literally, we're gonna enjoy some delicious craft beers from Celador Ales and North Hills. The San Fernando Valley has a lot to offer. Amazing food, rich history, tons of community events, and amazing people and organizations. I'm Scott Himmelstein with the Scott Himmelstein Group, and this is Eat Live Love San Fernando Valley. We're with Kevin, the co-owner and master brewer. All right, so Kevin, Tell me about this brewery and Celador Ales. Yeah, so Celador has been around for about five years. We're kind of unique. We do 100% barrel aged and barrel fermented wild ales or sour beers. So everything is aged in these barrels for usually about four months to a year. And then we bought a lot of stuff. We do natural conditioning. We use honey for the conditioning of our beers and uh, kind of distribute all around California. Where are you guys exactly at in North Hills? Because it's such a cool and funky location. Yeah, it's unique. So we're right just north of the Van Nuys Airport on a weird little uh, industrial cul-de-sac. So uh, no one's just driving by us on accident. You gotta get here on purpose. But uh, we like it. We've been here for five years, like I said, and it's a great location for us. Well, Kevin, I'm thirsty. Let's go over to the bar and tasting room and check it all out. Sounds great. Kevin, cheers, my friend. Cheers. All right, so tell me about some of these delicious craft beers that you guys have. I know I have the Saison de Rosier, and tell me about the, the beer that you're drinking while I take a, a sip of mine. Yeah, of course. This is a beer called Mushy Mush. It's made with um, organic burgundy plums from a farm called Andy's Orchard in Morgan Hill, California. And it's they make some of the most delicious fruit in the country, I think. And we really, really like working with uh, high quality local farms like that. Right, and so that brings up a great question is where do you guys source all of your fruit and other ingredients that you guys put into your beer? Yeah, from all different places. But really, we try, like I said, we try and work with local farms as much as possible. Um, sometimes we're using frozen fruit or other, other things, but we're really trying to get the highest quality product that we can get. All right, so you guys are one of the few oak-crafted fermented breweries here in the United States. So tell me more about what that actually entails, because you don't really use yeah. hops. Well, yeah, we use some hops, but we use them in a different way than other breweries. So the first part of the stage of brewing is called warts before it's fermented. And so we use a different brewery in Van Nuys, right around the corner, to do that part of the process. And then instead of brewing in big stainless conical fermenting tanks, we go straight into barrels and add our house mixed cultures, which is traditional brewer's yeast, plus tannomyces, which is a sort of wild, funky yeast, and also lactic acid bacteria uh, to create the acidity in the beer. And the process is sort of similar, but uh, having it in barrels gives us a little more flexibility for blending different things together to make the, exactly the flavors we want to get out of the beer. Kevin, this has been a blast. I'm going to head over to the tasting room and try some more of your delicious beer. If you like delicious beer, especially a delicious sour, then you definitely need to check out Celador Ales in North Hills. If you're looking for a fun place to chill, relax, just have a great beer, then this is definitely the place for you. If you like this episode, make sure you like it, share it, comment about it, so we can tell everybody about Celador Ales in North Hills, such a phenomenal place, and we look forward to seeing you next time on Eat Live Love, San Fernando Valley.